Good evening. This is a important update from the Cal Exit movement, specifically Yes California Cal Exit, the famous Cal Exit documentary that we've been talking about for so long is actually finally due to be released this October 18th, I believe. So October 18th, the Cal Exit documentary that we've been talking about and working with the production company Awfully Nice should be available on October 18th. Uh, we have some more details and we'll get right into it, but first. So everything you need to know is in the description of this video. If you click open the description of this video, you can see the original press release. You can see the first commercial for the show. You can see the uh, link to the Spotify channel where you can watch the show. So if you want to see the original press release talking about the documentary, if you want to watch the documentary on October 18th, it has the Spotify channel and it gives you a sneak preview of what's going on in this documentary. All those links are in the description in this video below. We're going to cover a little bit of that, but if you want to see the original sources, it's in the description for the link below. All right, well, let's get right into it. The Calixit documentary is going to be coming out. Uh, this is in the press release. Warner Music Group's in-house podcast network, Interval Presents, has just released the trailer for a new podcast called The Last Resort. It will be an eight-episode documentary series, which was produced by Awfully Nice. It premieres on October 18th through all major podcast platforms. It was a story about a dream for a new progressive utopia on the West Coast. It's about the fight for America's future. It's also a tale of two friends who started on the political fringe and ended up in the middle of a still unfolding global criminal conspiracy involving the FBI and Russian intelligence. They are, of course, referring to Louis Marinelli and not myself or anyone associated with Yes California, as we have extensively covered here because of the myriad of investigations that have already cleared us. So that's the official description. This is the official description and the official press release of who's doing it and how they're doing it. And this is the official description of what the documentary is going to be about. Now, one thing I need to point out is that story update, this isn't in the documentary, is that since the time that I was talking with them in the documentary, there's been some developments. Now, at the time of the documentary, Lewis had given back control over the Facebook and Twitter page to us and we were using it. That was the information that I gave the documentarians because that's that was the status at that time. Since that time, though, and this is probably isn't in the documentary because it's happened since then, uh, not mentioned in the documentary since then, Louis Marinelli has lied and tricked Yes California and all of our members, and he hacked back into the Facebook and Twitter page. He deleted all of our content and he put up divisive messaging while under active federal investigation for putting up divisive messaging with the aim of disuniting the United States, Lewis thought it was a good idea to hack into our Facebook and Twitter page and put up divisive messaging aimed at disuniting the United States. Again, while he's under part of an active federal investigation looking into those exact same claims. I don't know why you think it's a good idea that when you're under federal investigation for posting divisive messages on social media platforms with the aim of disuniting America, you hack over the Yes California Facebook and uh, Twitter page and post divisive messages from a new organization called Californians for a Disunited America. So you're literally pushing, pushing disunity of all of Americans, such as California. And you're also pushing divisive messaging while under an active federal investigation for that. Um, that's not in the documentary. That happened after we stopped doing the interviews for that and they were piecing it together. At that time, I did not know that Lewis was going to lie and trick all of us in the entire movement. Insult California, insult the movement, say he was done with the movement, say he's out. And then after we believed him, come back in and without notifying us, hack back into our Facebook page and Twitter page rip down all of our posts and put up new divisive messaging while being investigated for the same thing. So to me, that seems really dumb. 
Like you're telling the police, you know that thing you're accusing me of? Watch me do it right in front of you while you're investigating me. It's an update to the documentary. So let's get into a little bit more of what the background of the documentary is here. Um, so this is the actual press release, Last Resort, new podcast trailer dives deep into Cal Exit. Warner Music Group's podcast network Interval Presents has released the trailer for a new podcast about Cal Exit, The Last Resort, an eight part one by Warner Music Group's in-house podcast network. It'll be uh, there on October 18th. It was produced by Awfully Nice. It'll be narrated by Juarez Cato Martinez. And it's going to be all about the Cal Exit um, journey. There's the graphics. Okay, so we go to this one. Here's the preview for that. I'm going to play a little bit for you real quick. Let's get the volume up. I never started off wanting to become a secessionist. This is Marcus Ruiz Evans. He's an author from Fresno, California. And back in 2012, he had a big idea. Sounds good so far. Okay, this is the actual, uh, I'm sorry, this was the preview. We can watch, here's more of a description of what the story's about. Uh, this on Apple Podcasts is where you can watch it. So October 18th, it's coming out. There's the link. Will this usher in a civil war? Will California secede? Now the guy that they're having narrating it is this guy. Shutescato. Uh, so his name is pronounced Shutescato. I was pronouncing that Witescato. So it's Shutescato. He's also known by his initial X. He's an environmental activist and hip hop artist. He sued the federal government under Obama for not doing enough for climate change. He also sued Donald Trump for not doing enough for climate change. He has been on Bill Maher. He has spoken in front of the United Nations. Uh, and he also was a big Bernie Sanders fan. So apparently he went up against Donald Trump. That's something Cal Exit did. Uh, apparently he was very big on climate change and abhorred by the work that Trump did against it. That's also Cal Exit. Apparently he was a big Bernie fan. That's also a Cal Exit thing. So he'll be speaking in this documentary. Some of the people behind the documentary is Susan, uh, Gaber, uh, she worked at uh, Jordan Times and Huffington Post and the World Post at uh, Washington Post. Uh, another person involved is Dana Ballout, documentary podcast producer in the Los Angeles area. I've worked with both of them uh, intimately and uh, routinely in order to make this documentary happen. This is the Awfully Nice website. That's awfullynice.co, the last resort. And click that box and here's the show info. It's a series, episodes one. There you go. Tipping point, the ballad of Marcus and Lewis after the gold rush, the great state of Jefferson, the land of flowing water, civil war, people, the sun, Alcatraz. So there you go. So coming soon. So I guess the tipping point and the ballad of Marcus and Lewis. Definitely going to be us. Uh, we'll have to see what the whole thing is and go from there. So that's, that's it. I uh, wanted to show you the documentaries coming out, um, who it's by, what it's about, and some of the key links. So you have seen the key links of the original sources. You can see where the documentary will be playing out. We just showed you what the story's about and gave you a little update. So check it out when it comes out soon. And we will talk to you uh, after October 18th about the documentary when it comes out. We'd love to see your opinion. Talk to you soon. Thank you very much.